Okay, today we've got an accessory to put on the Trail Boss. A nice new steel roof system. Anyway, gonna be replacing the plastic top with the steel. Let's get it. Yeah, so <clears throat> this thing I hope is going to seal up better because we got some. It's one, it's rigid, and it has extrusions up through the middle. So that should help it uh, seal up a little better. Yeah, pretty excited about this. So. Okay, we're gonna have to get this headliner down first and see what we got to uh, see how we can hide some of the wiring that's up, up, up here underneath that. All right. All right, so here's all the wiring we're gonna have to hide.
back to peace. Get right here. Ah. Extremely maximum effort. Extreme maximum effort. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow. That's what it looks like inside though. It's gonna, yeah, I think it's gonna look nice. I just gotta figure out what to do with all the wires. All right, well, I'll we'll keep going. It's got some good ceiling foam around it, so maybe that dude won't leak on my neck. Let's get some nice features on top. I think it would be really cool is to get this color in like a rhino liner and then rhino line a patch of the top to reflect the heat a little bit. Yeah, some Trail Boss racing stripes. Trail stripes. <laughs> what? how well this roof seals up. It's got this really nice foam strip plus the foam strip that goes down this and this is going to go in this channel here and it's just going to really seal this roof up. I need to just lift the roof up and over a little bit and get this in or start here. Oh, that thing is a workout by yourself. All right, I think we need to get this oh, gasket kind of straightened out. But, uh, oh yeah. It's gonna look good. I think I'll just try to get the front lined up and in the holes real quick. And then we'll go back up on top and do the rear gasket. Wiggle that dude. Over. All right. Day two. I ran out of time yesterday. Gonna finish up on cleaning up the wires and getting the roof anchored down and maybe go for a ride i don't know but get this thing buttoned up okay now what i'm thinking is we got this wire that used to go run across the top and i was thinking about hiding it as i could drill a hole here in this hollow tube and run my wires down and that down across behind the seat because it would be trimmed out by this uh, nice little trim piece that goes there. You never even know that wire was in there. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Let's run that dude right there. I wonder how far I gotta go to get below that welded part. Maybe I gotta go right there. sparks and fire <sighs> Jesus okay we're gonna have to get probably that seed out of there that's yay easy peasy no more seatsy So I pulled the seat belts over here out of the way. Drill the hole right here. All right. The quarter inch hole there. And that's going to allow us to cut this, make an extension, feed it from the top down. Bloop, bloop. All right. Let's go do, go do the other side. All right, here we go. So we got all these little screws across the bottom of that. I love, oh my God. Okay, now, probably have to take this little thingy back off my little pocket thingy here. Okay, I just peeled that back that far and I just dropped this down that far. And Well, I can drill that right here. Actually, oh, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna keep the filings out of my seatbelt. Here we go. Three quarter hole, coming up. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, ow, 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 ow. Those are hot. I can smell hair burning. All right, got my two holes. Now I need to do some wiring. All right, now we need to scrounge up. up some wires so we can extend this. Okay, we're extending the speaker wires. Put the heat right on there. Put a solder and heat shrink everything in one shot. And we're done with that one. We'll do the other one now. Slide that past into our solder. Okay, now we're gonna put Okay. Working hard in there. I need a little refreshment. <laughs> Neon swimsuit. Should be good. All right, and we got me a little grilled cheese sandwich to get me through the afternoon. Mmm. Mmm. A little hoppy, a little citrusy. Kind of an orange flavor. This is kind of a grilled cheese flavor. Oh, oh, oh. All right. 
Got everything taped up here. And I think I'm gonna go this way and into the hole like this. Everything is going right. I should be able to grab that wire here at the bottom. Oh yeah, it's right there. I just gotta get a hook and pull it out. Okay, I got this little spring tool. We'll see if this will get in there. Got Okay, so I got that down in there, and we'll pull it up a little bit. Got my grommet in. That looks nice. And then now, wires are coming out this hole here, and we're gonna put some more shrink uh, tubing on this to help protect those wires coming out of that hole. But um, one down, one to go. <laughs> All right. One of the last wires here. Keep everything together a little bit. Put that in the middle. We've got a nice, good, shielded piece of heat shrink here. Speaker wires. And, and we will wrap this back up. And then we got that side to do. What I'm going to do is unravel this to expose where this wire is, and then I want to I want to cut on this side of this relay. I don't want to have to try to figure out where to put that other than behind the seat back there, but it needs to come it needs to get cut on this side of that relay. Okay, this is going along pretty good. And you notice staggering these, maybe I already said it earlier, but staggering these so that no joint is lined up with the other joint. And it makes for a really nice harness. Oh, grommet. I need a grommet. See if I can hook that little dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> just right. Do that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but ever. Oh, I want to tape. I want to put some tape up here. Ah. Yeah, I want to put some of this heavy tape and wrap it around this end real quick. Okay. Protect those wires a little bit. All right. Now we can go down. Okay, now I bring my grommet down. Okay, now we're gonna get this thing ran and tied down back here. I think first, first I wanna get this relay here and maybe do a self tapper and get that anchored. Kinda got it balanced, you know, between here and there. Yep, that's what we'll do. Okay, we got that. Got 
got that anchored. I don't know whether to leave that there or go on the back side of that. Maybe tape it with some of that black big heavy tape and tape it to that. That would secure it. Yeah. Okay, so now we got wiring all tied up. So now I'm wanting to run up the tunnel and come up and tap into here to provide power for the two doors. Anyway, that's my plan. So I've got a lot of the push pins out. So I just need to get this tunnel up. Oh, I gotta get that duct off of there. All right, a little bit more. Okay, got that. Oh, I've got another duct right here. I gotta get, yeah. Okay, that worked. Okay, oh my God. Those things wearing me out. So, if I can get this wire in front here somewhere. Yeah, so here we are right here. Just need to put an end on this and go right there. Okay, we got the plug ran down into this little cavity and we're gonna now we're gonna splice these three wires to these three wires that's what's next all right so we got that spliced going up the tunnel and now we're gonna come out here Splice this into this, plug it in. Our windows will have power. Get in. I'm gonna pull the slack back. Let's see if we got power to our windows. Oh yeah. Yeah, I could just mount that right there and that'll be the easiest way to deal with that for right now. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to take these little things off and I'm gonna loop that up into that channel and then back around and then bloop, it'll work. <coughs> zoomed in. Yeah. That'll work. Okay, now for this up here. I'll hook this together. That back together. And I think I could put this panel back here. Okay, so now we're just putting these washers and nuts on there. Tighten them down. Pulling that down nice. 
nice and tight. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna get these four. I'm gonna have to get a swivelly to get that one. on that one too. What it's doing is this ridge down. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Alright. Now we need to see about sucking this down and then putting the four four screws in the back. Okay, so we got the screws down. And then we're going to hold it down. Now I just got to do these four across the back and suck this in. I think that'll do. Put this piece back up in there. All right. All right. There. That trimmed that up. I just need to put the gun rack back. That bolt in. Okay. We're back in business. I like how it's just hitting there. That way I got plenty of room here. And there's lots of room back here. That'll work nice. All right. Well, I am wore out, but it's done. Um, for now. Anyway, got dark on me. <laughs> All right. Good project. Can't wait to go test it out. Didn't have enough time to go for a ride tonight, and I'm too pooped to poop around. Laters.